All right, thank you all for tuning back into my 1989 Laser LTV Bass Boat Restoration. Here I am getting the transom bracing prep to be screwed to the stringers and the transom. Uh, we put bonding putty where the surfaces will meet and then screwed them together to get a nice bond, a nice tight squeeze on there to force the putty into the uh, CUSA board, which is very porous. Here I'm just kind of prepping the top of the stringers, dusting off the dust from sanding, getting everything ready to go together nicely, making sure it all fits properly before we uh, actually put the bonding putty on it. All right, so checking it out, fixing to screw it down, best fit. This is what takes, uh, when you take a boat to a fiberglass guy and he quotes you $6,000 to put fingers in a transom in there, this is what it takes all the time, making sure it's right. And uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of fun, very satisfying when it all comes together. Okay, so we got it screwed in, got it how we like it. Now it's time to wipe it down with acetone one last time and mix up some bonding putty. Bonding putty we got at Fiberglass Florida. They call it, uh, I believe they call it fiber reinforced putty. And uh, it's awesome stuff. It really sticks two pieces together really nicely. For uh, doing stuff like this, we just lay a nice bead on it, squish it together, as you'll see here, then clean up the excess from the bead. But when we uh, laminate two pieces together in a uh, flat orientation like we did with the transom, we use a grooved trowel to get it on there evenly so it squishes together. It's uh, nice and even. You don't get high spots where it kind of floats and will squish out on you. So uh, anywhere that the bead squished out too much, just came back, cleaned it up, used any uh, excess we had to fill in gaps. Super important to fill in your gaps if you're working on a project like this. Getting everything nice and flat for your glass to go against. You don't want your glass just floating out and in the air with some gaps you can see one down there at the bottom where it's radius we'll have to come back and fill in to fill gaps like that we use uh, resin and capsil and mill fiber mix it together and make a good paste pack it in there so here we are cutting the fuel tank platform so for the tank platform i believe it is half inch kusa since the bottom of your tank is flat, you don't really need a big, big old hunkin' strong piece. And it's got, uh, gonna sit on the center stringer, so half inch is plenty fine. And let's see, so here we're just testing the fit. I mean, it fits good. It did not the first time, I had to shave a little off. All right. Usually what we do is while a piece of glass is setting up, we will cut some stuff. So you had put uh, two layers on the inside or one single layer, I forget which. Whenever uh, I was filming this, it was the summertime. I was about 108 inside of uh, the garage where we were working on it. And so you don't have a ton of working time, so we weren't mixing up big batches of resin. What we do, so we have some working time is we stick our resin jugs in a cooler with ice. Try to get them as cold as possible because by the time you pour it in the cup and then roll it out, it gets hot quick, especially since the hull is could be 100 degrees by my accounts. Uh, so by the time you put the resin on there, you got just about enough time to roll it out and it's already getting rubbery. So we always make sure we get everything pre-cut how we want it, fit it, and then work it out in the winter time. We have a lot more, a lot more time to goof off and pick our time. So here we're just wetting out our pieces of 1708, getting them wetted out, rolled out, get all the air out of them. On the transom there, where the bracing came down to the stringers, we did, uh, what did we do? I believe it was four pieces per side laterally. Uh, and then uh, the one strap over the top. <laughs> kind of anchor it all down. Get it nice and strong. So here we are just 
working it in. Dad's working on the piece there in the back. A piece of kusa there at the very bottom. Still got to drill it out for the uh, hull drain and live well pickups. I'm still undecided if I'm going to plumb the live wells. Probably not initially, but might plumb one of them eventually. So there's plenty of room in the back there to do that after I get the boat put together and on the water. So got everything rolled out nicely, getting our tools cleaned up. All right, moving right along. So that is the center uh, transom brace. Gives our uh, transom nice and stiff so that way you don't get flex in the center of your stringer. Transom, excuse me. All right, and that is the glass we just put on. Looks pretty good. Sometimes it's right on the edge of being too dry. That's just from the Kusa uh, board. Kind of soaks it up. So uh, uh, the more experience we get working with it, we uh, learn you got to get it a little wetter than you think it needs to be. And then by the time the Kusa board soaks some of it up, it'll be just right. But none of it came out so dry that it was going to uh, not be structurally sound. Here we are putting a nice bead of bonding putty on the tank platform and center stringer. Fixing to smush that guy in there. Using some old batteries to hold it down till it's nice and set up. And then come back with our 1708. We only did one piece of 1708 on this. And we might have done two. I can't really remember if we uh Thought it would add much strength or not, but it will give some stiffness to the hull uh, from flexing. And we're also uh, glassing in the transom brace. So with doing these videos, I hope I can give you guys some ideas. I know I've watched plenty and uh, drawn inspiration from a lot of different stuff I've watched online and obviously the people that have helped me out. But um, comment down below if you want me to do like complete how-to videos like how to lay up fiberglass, how to roll it out. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there, but if you want to see how I do it, which is nothing special, I'll try to get a video made like that for you all right so here is the finished glass right there where uh, the radius is we had to fill in some gaps before putting the glass on we got the transom brace nice and glassed up and the transom is almost done looks really good should be damn near bulletproof way the uh, four strokes are going they're so heavy I uh, wanted to possibly be able to run one in the future don't know if I ever will but it's always nice to know you uh, have the option to far I think I have used for the total project want to say maybe five gallons of resin probably close to 10 gallons of acetone um, I bought a whole roll of 1708 when the book started um, I got that at fiberglass Florida I am not sure how long it is but I know it's just a full roll it was a lot cheaper to buy it that way, and uh, it looks like we'll use it all up and maybe need a little bit more. I'm hoping not, but we'll be determined. So here I am just putting the final strapping. I call it strapping. I don't know what you would really call it, but just going over the top of the transom braces at the top of the transom just to add a little more strength. 
the two pieces over the top so again we have two pieces running down laterally on each side and then the two pieces over the top so four per side and I'll kind of explain that here in the clip coming up. I did some live recording as I was working on it. I like to try to do that more, you know, just record it as I go in the moment. But sometimes I get uh, so into working on it, I don't want to slow down to take the time to film. Because I get, I get pretty pumped about uh, getting this thing done. Got the transom strap down. So, you'll see earlier we had the pieces running laterally, and then I got two across for a total of six. This here will just get resin coated. That is pretty strong. So it's four on each side, essentially. Four on each side. So four layers. All right, guys, that is part two of my laser restoration. Be looking forward to part three, where I flip it over and get to work on the bottom. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll leave me a like and subscribe.